Welcome back. Let's look at tips for saving Excel worksheets. There are three primary ways to save. We could use the Save button up on the Quick Access toolbar. You notice when I hover over it, it comes up with the suggestion of hitting the Control and the S key. So that's my second way. And the third way is to use the File menu, where I can get into Save and Save As. If I use the Save As, it gives me the choice of saving to one of my OneDrives, my cloud drives, or I could save to the local computer. For this example, I saved local and I clicked on the Browse down below. This will bring me to my Documents folder. I have uh, top level folders for work and all my personal, or I can create a new folder. Now let's talk folder strategy. The whole idea is to make it easy to find using folders and subfolders. I started out with the directory folder. Underneath it, I have a subfolder for work. Under my work folder, I have subfolders for all my courses by course number. In my courses, I teach them by modules, which last two to four weeks. So I have the, the modules. And under the modules, I have subfolders by week. The idea is that you should be able to read your folders uh, without having to scroll down. Once you have to scroll down, make a new folder. Now for the individual files, let's look at a strategy for that. I recommend the name date. So the idea is you do it by year, month, day. So that would be 240911. Here's an example. My workbook 240911. So next year it would be 25. Last year it was 23. I use all lowercase so I don't have to guess if it's a capital or lowercase. And I use underscores in case I want to transfer to another program. Thank you for watching and see you soon.